Good morning. It's Saturday, June the 20th. The call to prayer today. Bless the Lord, you angels of His, you mighty ones who do His bidding, and hearken to the voice of His word. Bless the Lord, all you hosts, you ministers of His who do His will. Bless the Lord, all you works of His in all places of His dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The request for presents, give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken to my cry for help, my King and my God, for I make my prayer to you. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. Early in the morning, I make my appeal and watch for you. This morning's greeting, O God, you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are fixed on you. For in returning and rest, we shall be saved. In quietness and trust shall be our strength. The refrain for the morning lessons, The Lord's will stands fast forever, and the designs of his heart from age to age. The Gospel reading today, The Jews then said, You are not fifty yet, and you have seen Abraham. Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, before Abraham ever was, I am. The Lord's will stands fast forever, and the designs of his heart from age to age. The Morning Song The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand, until I make your enemies your footstool. The Lord will send the scepter of your power out of Zion, saying, Rule over your enemies round about you. Princely state has been yours from the day of your birth. In the beauty of holiness have I begotten you like dew from the womb of the morning. The Lord has sworn, and he will not recant. You are a priest forever, after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord's will stands fast forever and the designs of his heart from age to age. The small verse today, The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. On those who have lived in a land of deep shadow, a light has shone. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The prayer appointed for this week. Keep, O Lord, your household, the church, in your steadfast faith and love that through your grace each of us may proclaim your truth with boldness and minister your justice with compassion for the sake of our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The concluding prayer of the church today, Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ my Lord. Amen. May God richly bless you today and always.